Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Techies. This is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in this video, we can talk about selectors in NGRX. First, let me tell you what is selectors. So basically, selectors is kind of function that is provided by NGRX store. So using this function, we can extract the individual properties from our existing state. So in order to, we can improve the performance of our application. So let me explain the concept. After that, we can do our implementation. So this is my created application. If you noted here, currently I'm having this state. So in this state, I'm having two properties. One is counter and another one is the channel name. And also I'm having three components, the counter button, counter display, and also this custom counter. Currently, I'm displaying this counter and channel name. Both are in our counter display component only. So now what I'm going to do, so instead of showing both properties in the single component, I'm going to show this counter only in this counter display component. So this channel name I'm going to use in some other components. Okay. Now if you checked in our TS file, I am just to subscribe with this state only. Okay. So let me show you the code also. So we can consider this section. So using this select option, I am directly accessing my state, okay? So the state contains both the properties, so that should I have used like this. So since if I am moving this function to another component also, again I am going to subscribe the same state only, okay? Our requirement is, we are accessing only counter in this component, this channel name I am going to access from some other component. Here the problem is, once I am updated this counter, Obviously, our state has been modified. Okay, since I am subscribed here, obviously this section should be executed. That means triggered. So the same time the trigger will happen in this another component also because both the areas we are subscribing the same state only. Okay, so basically it will affect our application performance. So currently I am having two properties. So if you have more properties, obviously it will affect our application performance. For avoiding this situation, we can create the selectors for the individual properties. So hereafter we are not going to subscribe the entire state. So instead of that, we can subscribe our created uh, selectors that have the required properties. Okay. So this is the overall concept. So even though if you are not understand properly, so once I am completed my implementation, you will get more idea. Okay. So let me start our implementation. Okay. First what I am going to do. So let me command this section. For the code refactoring, we have added like this. For time being, let me command this one. We can uncomment this area. And this destroy also needed. Okay. So we can save this one. So next in our HTML side, let me command everything. I'm just having this h2 tag and our variable name is counter display. Okay. So we can remove the existing code. I'm just replacing. Okay. So let me save this one. Next in this h1 section, let me move on the custom counter component. Okay. So in this content side, let me include it. Here I'm just providing channel name. So let me save this one. Also, we have to declare this property. And here I'm going to implement this on in hook. So if it is not imported, we have to import it manually. Oh, on in it. So whatever code is there, we can just copy and use it here because here also our store is injected so let me copy it okay so instead of this counter display we can have only this channel name so let me remove it and this subscription is part of the rxjs only so we have to import it okay now it is done and similarly in our counter display component we can remove this channel name so let me save this one oh, since i'm getting some error custom counter okay here we not saved this page that's why 
okay so the error got resolved if you checked the output you can see our channel name and also this counter so the functionality point of view everything will work and uh, channel rename also yeah welcome to nigeria tech case if all are working fine so next what i'm going to do here i can include one console.log so i can provide our common name custom counter similarly we can include the log in our counter display also so we can save this one now if you are checking in our console we are able to see this counter display and also this custom counter so let me remove everything so now what i'm going to do let me click this increment so whenever i'm clicking this increment it will affect the counter property in our state so this will affect this property only okay so i'm going to click this one see so the value is changed is six so then here at a is same only so it is not changed but we are getting this log from both component from the counter display we are getting this counter display from the custom counter we are getting this custom counter so similarly if i'm clicking this increment again it is calling two times so now i'm going to click this rename so basically it is affecting our channel name property so again both areas are getting called okay so basically it will create some performance issue so avoiding this scenario only we are going to use the selectors option now let me tell you how to use the selectors so we can create one more new file we can provide the name is counter dot selector okay so this is normal ts file so first let me declare one variable get counter state so that means we are accessing the current state and create feature selector so this class also belongs to this uh, ngrx store only and here we have to use our model so our model class is counter model and our state counter so this part is done next i am going to create the individual selectors for that we have the class is create selector okay export get counter create selector so in this selector we have to pass our get counter state here we can access our actual state information finally I am returning state dot counter so similarly we can create one more selector so that is for our channel okay so let me provide the name is get channel name and up to this is fine at the end i am just returning this channel name so let me save this one first in our counter display component so instead of this counter i am going to use the created selector okay that is get counter since it is returning the single data that is nothing but our counter only so we can directly use it here okay so let me save this one similarly in our custom counter component we have to use our get channel name and the step is same only can save this one finally see our output so in this initial time both are got triggered so that's what we got both the messages so let me remove the existing console so now if I'm clicking this increment it is triggered only our counter display okay 
So similarly, if I'm clicking this rename, it is just triggered from our custom counter only. Okay, and we can use this custom counter add functionality. This custom counter functionality also affecting our counter property. So that's what we got this counter display message. Even this remove also again this counter display. So only this rename option. So it will change our current state of the channel name. So already the text is welcome to Nihira Techies only. So that's what it is not triggered once again. So if you want to verify, we can verify it. Okay, see the custom counter is coming. Okay. So this is the way we can implement our selectors. So now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. So in our next video, we can see one of the interesting topic in NGRX. Thank you. Thanks for watching.